एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पेस्ट्री वी हैव डिस्कस शॉर्ट क्रस्ट पेस्ट्रीज एंड स्वीट शॉर्ट क्रस्ट पेस्ट्री इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिच शॉर्ट पेस्ट्री एंड द वेरियस फॉल्स व्हिच आर बीन फाउंडेड इन मेकिंग द पेस्ट्री व्हिच इज शॉर्टर इन क्रस्ट रिच शॉर्ट पेस्ट आल्सो नोन एज पाते सैबले इट मींस सैंडी डो This paste is basically used for sweet tarts, cutlets, pies, cookies and shortbreads. This paste is high in fat and sugar. Both that's why it is more flaky amongst the two other dough. Usually composed of sugar, fat, flour, egg, salt and sometimes dry nuts flour are also used in and along with this sometimes some crushed dry nuts are also used in some preparations made by sanding the dry ingredients with fat until the mixture resembles a sand corn meal and then mixing in the moist ingredients chill this paste in refrigerator for an hour before using this is the basic recipe which we follows for making rich short paste in which we use flour 500 g butter 300 g sugar 300 g eggs two nos milk as required for binding dry nut powder 50 g as per requirement or optional salt 2 g it's optional salt is always used for increasing the flavor so uh, we can always use salt in a little quantity to increase the flavor The baking temperature will be 150 degrees Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes, or even it can uh, we can bake some of the products at 110 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. Sanding method. Sanding method is when you mix the dry ingredients with fat until the mixture resembles a sand corn meal texture, and then mixing in the moist ingredients, adding eggs. mix uniform dough is formed this is this is the method which is used for rich short paste on the screen you can see the first step is flour and fat is mixed with a finger tip until it coat the fat right then we rub in between the palm and finger resumes a sandy texture then we add powdered sugar egg salt if we are using a savory uh, product dry ingredients uh, dry nut powder is mixed in this step and in the last we mix all the ingredients and, and uh, prepare a smooth dough and we wrap it for some time so that we can handle it on later baking the crust there are some terms which are been used to prepare or uh, to make this uh, crust of short crust or you can say uh, pie and tart dough uh, first one is a docking to dock or to prick it is basically done due uh, to prevent the crust from puffing up and blistering while it's bakes by pricking it with fork or rolling docker as on the screen you can see a rolling docker a fork is been used for docking this allows the steam to escape so that the pie crust doesn't puff up in the oven usually this technique is used when blind baking a pie crust before filling if the crust is not going to be blind baked before the filling do not prick the crust because the filling may sip under the crust while it is baking so the crust will be wet it's important for flat bread and crackers otherwise they would want to stay flat in our previous uh, slide we have talked about the blind baking now what is blind baking blind baking is also known as pre baking in it is the process of baking a pie crust or other pastry without any filling that means whenever we used to bake only a crust without any filling we use blind baking 
blind baking a pie crust is necessary when it will be filled with an unbaked filling such as with pudding or cream pie in which case the crust must be fully baked it is also called for if the filling has a shorter baker time or baking time then the crust in which case the crust is partly baked blind baking is also used to keep pie crust from becoming soggy due to wet filling fault in the crust after baking there are various reasons which by which there can be a fault in our uh, pastry like first one is tough pastry it can be due to too much of liquid too little of fat or over handling or insufficient of rubbing your dough second is crust shrunken it can be either overcooked not rested properly before baking the baking weight was placed too firmly next is stuck to mold that means you have used too much of liquid shape distorted after blind baking not docked properly so docking is that much important soggy crust filling is too moist or sugar in a sweet pie is in contact with pastry for a double crust pie use ideally a metal pie that means a metal pie plate is used for making double crust pie and butter the pie plate before lining with pastry shrunken pie oven temperature is too low and cold pastry put over hot filling too much liquid in filling or too little filling is there speckled pastry undissolved sugar grains in enrich pastry crust this can lead to a speckled pastry soft and crumbly too little water is used too much fat is used self raising flour used instead of plain that is the reason of soft and crumbly that means the flour is also important over here pastry blister fat not rubbed in sufficiently too much of water can be the reason for these faults thank you very much In our next session we will discuss about shoe pastry thank you stay safe take care